In this video, we will be studying about the failures of Green Revolution. See, Green Revolution no doubt has a very good and positive impact on the Indian agriculture. But on the other side, there was also the failure of the Green Revolution. Now, what were the, uh, how was the Green Revolution, what were the failures that were attached to the Green Revolution? Number one was the limited crop. limited crops which means that a revolutionary rise in output is confined mainly to the production of food grains such as wheat and rice whereas the other products of uh, other crops such as pulses and commercial crops such as jute tea etc were neglected The main focus was given on the wheat and rice. So only limited crops were covered under the Green Revolution. Uneven spread. The Green Revolution was not spread uh, almost in all the parts of the country. It was it has a major positive impact on the Punjab, Haryana, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra. But uh, it remains subdued or it does not have much impact, much impact on these uh, states like UP, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha. So it was very uneven spread. Third is limited farming. Population. See, the Green Revolution mainly focused on the new techniques or modernized techniques and intensive irrigation facilities and expensive inputs. So, the poor farmers were not able to support, although the subsidies were given to them, but at that point of time, subsidies did not affect the irrigation facility or the expensive input facilities to help the poor farmers. Also, means of irrigations are grossly deficient and the poor farmers often look to the weather to irrigate his feet. So, Green Revolution has by and largely been confined to the rich farmers in India. So, fortunately, rich farmers were helped by the Green Revolution, whereas poor farmers were neglected. Fourth is the economic divide. The rich have become more more richer and the poor farmers have become more poor so the green revolution does not had a positive impact in order to reduce the poverty from india so poverty is so widespread in indian agriculture that the government often resorts to loan waiving schemes causing a mounting burden on the indian exchequers so these are some of the failures of the green revolution in india now the question is, does India need other green revolution? Yes, obviously yes. India needs another green revolution just because till now the standards are extremely low compared to the other nations. The productivity is comparatively very low if we compare to the other nations. Food grain stocks are at the threshold. So our farmers are failing to cope up with the uncertainties of the weather. They are failing to cope up with the uncertainties of the market. So we need an, another green revolution to improve all the problems that are faced by the farmers in India. So I hope you have completely understood this. Do now know the scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.